Okay, our next case is uh, Lambs County case, agenda item number four. Case number, this is a text amendment 2012 02. Chair, Chair, Chairman, I have a complaint. Okay. Okay, Mr. Danford. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, ultimately, at the end of the day, this text amendment is a request to change the minimum lot sizes allowed and the minimum residential densities allowed in the MAZ3 zoning district. We have those changes highlighted on the screen, but they've also been highlighted in your packet and the materials that we've given you thus far. At the end of the day, that is, that is what is happening here. Um, what I'd like to do is give you the few updates we've had since Monday and then um, go through with you exactly maybe the history of this area so you can see where this is coming from. Uh, the updates that we have, we've had one open records request on the amendment earlier this week. Um, we did, uh, with some effort, and I appreciate that, get a written response from Rudy today that you have, uh, that you got emailed this afternoon and also is sitting in front of you from, uh, from Colonel Thompson. Um, in addition to that, uh, we also have had some question because uh, state law asks that we give Moody 30 days to respond to this issue. Staff has had this amendment about 31 days. It wasn't ready for Moody in a day. It was, took us about a week. So we did not meet that timeline, but we believe we made an effort to get them that response. And to their credit, they gave us that response much quicker than 30 days. But I do want to note that. So. With that, we do still plan on proceeding forward to the county commission level, depending on your recommendation. And what I'd like to do, since I'm having some trouble with this new bulb in the projector, is just walk you through a little bit of the history. You can follow along with me in the packet that you've been given. Um, and for members of the audience, we'll bring that back up as soon as we can. But ultimately, if you'll go in your packet to page four, Page four will show you a map of that area of the county before the ULDC was adopted. And so you'll see the lack of MAZ 1, 2, and 3. You see some R10s scattered in that area. You see the plan development south of the base for Moody Family Housing, but you see what that zoning was before the MAZs were adopted. When the MAZs were adopted, you can see that um, general area light up with blue, various shades of blue. And generally, as you got closer to Moody Air Force Base, with the MAZ-1 district, you were allowed to do less because we were more concerned with the land uses of that area. What I want to call your attention to is those lines that you see in front of you with red arrows. That area inside those lines of red arrows, with red arrows, was restricted to two and a half acre density. So everything inside those red arrows, close to Moody Air Force Base, had a lot size and a density requirement of two and a half acres. Everything outside of those red areas to the end of the MAZ-3 did not have a density requirement. I've done some homework on this. I don't think that was intentional, but it was just left out. And so the text amendment that was pursued and pretty close to after that was adopted within about six months was the commissioner said everything from the outside of those red arrows to the end of the MAZ was going to be two and a half acres, similar to what was inside. So I want to point that out because that's where that two and a half acre um, measurement came from. It was something that was negotiated with Moody and the consultants and the Board of Commissioners. So everything in that central corridor was two and a half. Everything outside of that was really left out. And so we had to fill that in after it was adopted. And that's where that two and a half acre came from. We went from basically um, a blank slate to two and a half acres. We've recently had that rezoning request, 2012-17, which is for the R10 zoning district that you all saw and recommended on last month. At the county commission level, they recommended to table that request. And as a response, um, one of the things we learned is the commission had concerns with the density requirement in this area. And as a result, this text amendment is a potential way to address that, basically saying if you have a more restrictive zoning closer to the base, this zoning can be less restrictive at one acre. You can see various parties have weighed in here from staff. You see a split vote from staff. You have Moody Air Force Base weighing in with their position. But ultimately, what we'd like to do is bring it before the county commission and, of course, get your input on that. 
Um, be happy to entertain any questions. Uh, I will try to uh, address them. I've tried to be very um, candid in your report. I hope you can appreciate that and just let you know that we have received responses on this amendment on both sides. And so that comes to you with, um, with a difficult recommendation. We do believe um, that it is ready for your consideration tonight, even with that 30 days included. Um, I believe we did not technically meet that, but we're still going to try to make an effort to get this on the county commissioner's agenda as asked. So if you do consider that, I do think your value uh, is would be appreciated. Thank you.